students come to the source five the sudarshan lake in gujarat okay so find girnar on map second so when we talk about girnar it is in junagar in gujarat the sudarshan lake was an artificial reservoir artificial means that is man made okay we come to know about it from a rock inscriptions in sanskrit in the second century ad and was in uh, in composed to record the achievements of the sak ruler rudradaman okay so the uh, inscription that mentions that the lake embankment okay with embankment and water channels were built by local governor during the mauryan time however terrible storms break the embankment water gushed out of the lake so rudradaman who was ruling in that uh, area claimed to have repaired the lake okay using his own resources without uh, uh, in imposing any taxes on his subject okay another inscription on the same rock mentions how one of the gupta ruler repaired it once again so here come a very important topics that is changing the country site in which we discussed okay in the previous video about the how the perceptions of the people okay um was changed for the king and then you see the strategy of change in the uh, agricultural with the new technology there were changes in the production also okay uh, we show the changes in the structure of the ruler society okay so here comes the first questions that uh, uh, that can be found was what do you know by jatak narrate uh, examples to show the relationship of king and his subject or you can see how do historian reconstruct the lives of the ordinary people here so here you is a very important is the jatak other stories that probably originated as popular oral tales that we later committed to writing so jataks were written in pali a simple definition that has been given around the middle of first millennium bc uh, ce common era the relationship of kings and his subject are to are as follow so you can see when we talk about the relationship of the king and the subject which are being the best um, example here is of uh, ganda tindu okay that is uh, jata which describe the plights of the subject of a wicked king okay the kings went to discuss to find out what his subject thought about him each one of them cursed him and then the miseries and felt insecurity okay so you can see to abandon from the situations uh, of robbers and tax collectors they went to forest and lived there to get rid, uh, okay to get rid of this situations somewhere shows the plights of the peasant or the peoples okay when we talk about the next paragraph here next topic is the strategies of increasing protection to what extent were the agriculture practices transformed the period under consideration so you can see the agriculture practice followed by the cultivator to increase the productivity from 600 bce to 600 common era so what was the um, agriculture practices that was transformed so you can see shift to plow agriculture was one strategy the spread in fertile alluvial uh, river and the use of iron tip plow you can see trans uh, transplantations for paddy cultivation as broadcasting of seed trans plantation of saplings in the water lost field so use of hoe agriculture in semi arid regions use of irrigation strategy through wells tank and uh, you can see canals and land grants a type of strategies adopted by ruling lineages to extended agriculture in a new areas so here i mention some of the points and what you have to do students you have to elaborate these points okay because you have to follow the word limit also okay then comes here that while the technology for agriculture production often led to increase in productions but the benefit was very uneven okay so you can see how it was an if we talk about that there is an evident that there was a growing differentiation amongst people engaged in agriculture stories especially within the buddhist traditions refers to landless agricultural okay laborer and you can see small peasant as well as large land holders the large land holder as well as the village headmen they emerge as a powerful figure and offer exercise control over other cultivators so some of the example here he has been mentioned in the village that we find these type of positions that were living there or differentiation 
okay as you can see there was la last land owners of velalar and then you can see plowman and then other you can see slaves so here there was there is a distinguish between different groups okay so here the questions that can be asked that explain the systems of land grant and trade made from 600 bce to 600 common era so what type of systems were there if you talk about the land grant okay we talk about the information available were from the stone inscriptions and copper plates and it was made to religious institutions okay agrahar okay that uh, grant was made to brahmins okay samantas were also given land if you talk about in the source uh, uh, eight okay prabhavati of akatak empire okay grant land or village dangun to brahmins where he was exempted from all the taxes or to paid any tribute okay here comes another question that why were the grants of level made and to whom so here earlier we talk about the grant word for the brahmans and the religious institution but later the land was given to samans okay grant were in different size of land okay and from small plot to vast stretches of uncultivable land some history his, historians felt that land grant were given by the rulers to extend the cultivation and agriculture to new area other feel that the king were losing control over their samant by the land grants the king sought to win allies and king sought to maintain the illusion of being powerful here comes another topic the towns and the trade so you can see 6th century bc witness okay the growth of a number of towns in various part of the subcontinent so most of this town they served as a capital as partly put varanasi koshambi mathura ujjain veshali and takshila all the major routes were located at the routes of communication here routes of communication here is the land and the river line or the sea routes okay if we talk about patli patli putra was located at river line and when we talk about ujjain it was located at the land route some other cities like puhar it is located at coast okay so here comes urban population elite and caste now the first question here that can be found is the what is northern black polish ware so you can see a wide range of artifacts have been recovered from these included uh, fine pottery bowls and dishes okay with a glossy finish known as the northern black polished ware probably used by rich people and ornaments tools weapons vessels or figurines made up by the wide range of material just gold silver bronze ivory and terracotta okay so here comes that how do historian reconstruct the lives of the ordinary peoples as we discussed earlier also that if we talk about the literary sources for the jatak and then we see here that common masses or the ordinary people they left behind very few written information about lives okay so here different type of food grains and animals bones have been found remains of houses and you can see um, pots in form daily life okay certain inscriptions are the good source of knowing about economic life of people then changing agriculture tools and equipment throw some light on the changing life then you can see here the formation of merchant guilds okay historian also use famous folk tales so here comes that uh, discuss the evidence of the craft production in the early historic cities so if we talk the wide range of artifact that we has been recovered from there this includes uh, this fine pottery bowl dishes with a glossy finish known as northern black polish ware and uh, and we find some short votive inscription in number of cities that mention the name of the donor and sometimes specific uh, specify his or her occupation they tell us about people who lived in towns washing folks weavers scribes carpenters potters goldsmith blacksmith official religious teacher merchants and king okay these guilds probably procured raw material regulated production and then they marketed the finished product it is likely that craft persons used as a range of iron tool to meet the growing demand of the urban elite then come to the topic coins and kings so here you can see the reconstructing of past na of the earliest historic histories okay so here if we talk the coin is the most important archaeological sources it reconstruct the parts of the morin and the post morin especially the kushanas and the gupta so student while while writing this answer you have to remind one thing 
that these are the archaeological sources the coin and when we talk about the materials for your answer or the points or the paragraph you have to add from this especially uh, for the mauryans for the kushanas and the gupta empire as far as the question here is about the sources okay the archaeological sources to reconstruct the past okay of this empires so here comes that uh, first question that what is a punch mark okay so and then what do you mean by numismatic and how has the study of coin has the numismatic to reconstruct possible commercial network during 6th century bce discuss so when we talk about the num num numismatic has it has been given in a small paragraph you can see the small uh, box okay it is the study uh, of coins including visual elements such as the scripts image metallurgical analysis and the context in which they have been found so when we talk about this numismatic they have studied the punch marked coin made up of silver and copper which have been uh, you can see <coughs> removed from excavations at a number of sites throughout the subcontinent and other coins to reconstruct possible commercial network so when many attempts were made to identify the symbols with the you can see specific rulers okay ruling dynasty including the mauryans also the first coin uh, to bear the name and image was issued by indo greek okay first gold coin you can see were issued in the first century common era by kushanas have been uh, found from several sites in northern india and central asia if you talk about hoards of roman okay coins have also been found from archaeological sites in south india shows the network of trade were not confined within the political boundary or as south india but part of roman empire so archaeological have unearthed several thousands okay copper coin issued by the yodhais tribal republic of punjab and haryana then you can see that uh, some of the golden coins were issued by the gupta ruler this coin facilitate long distance transaction from which uh, kings also benefited so here comes another topic how are inscriptions deciphered so discuss the use of hami and kharosti scripts and method to decipher it so you can see most of the script that used to write modern indian language are derived from brahmi okay the script used in most ashoka inscription from the late 18th century you can see european scholars they uh, what they did uh, aided by indian pandit work backward from contemporary bengali and devanagari manuscripts okay comparing the letters with older specimen okay and then the story of decipherment of this kharosti used in inscription in northwest in different uh, okay part of the subcontinent here you can find of the coins of indo greek kings whose ruler uh, ruled over the area have facilitated matters okay here you can find that the coins contain the name of the king written in greek and kharosti scripts european scholars now they could read the former compare the letters okay by comparing the letter so if we talk about this what does the inscriptions ashoka inscription tell about the mauryan so you can know very well they talk about the titles of the ashoka apia the c okay then you can see devam pa and then you can see it's uh, ashoka spread of dham buddhism okay then you can see the kaling was and his regret okay uh, then you can talk about the inscriptions were examined in terms of the content the style the language and calligraphy by the epigraphist confirmed all were issued by the same rulers so here come the limitations of the inscriptions okay evidences so what are the limitations here you can see letters were weakly engraved reconstructions are not certain inscription sorry inscriptions might be damaged and letter may be missing then you can find thousands of inscriptions are uh, discovered but not deciphered published and translated even agricultural practices happiness and sorrow are not mentioned in the inscription so there are so many drawbacks of uh, reading the inscriptions so here we finish the chapter and i have discussed with you some of the important points topics and questions okay so you have to prepare your question, uh, your ans your answers on on this basis okay